hola mercies welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to be learning how to cut and sew this beautiful gather skirt with a basque waistline and yes this outfit is a skirt and a blouse it's not a dress if that sounds like something you're interested in do make sure to keep on watching and let's get this video started with So yeah, to make this um, skirt, I'm having, I have this beautiful plain and pattern chiffon like fabric and I have two yards for the pink and one yard for the pattern. That's for both the skirt and the blouse. The length of the skirt I intend making measures 25 inches towards the shorter ends of the basque. So I'm going to start by cutting the front pattern first. I have my fabric folded in two just to give this fabric um, weight and just so the waist portion have that neat finish. Does that make sense? So yes, I have my fabric folded in two just for that main reason. I'm going to go ahead now and further fold it in two now to actually cut out the upper portion of the skirt. So yeah, I'm going to start by inserting my waist measurement. My waist measures 26 divided by 4 gives 6.5 inches. So yeah, go ahead and insert, mark out the 6.5 inches right there. And I'll be adding 1.5 inches of sewing allowance. So yeah, for my box, I'm going to be marking out 5 inches from the waistline. So go ahead and mark out 5 inches. And here yeah, at that point, I'll be starting my hip measurement. My hip measures 36. 36 divided by 4 gives 9 inches. So yes, at that 5 inch mark, I'm going to be marking out 9 inches for my hip measurement, adding 1.5 inches of sewing allowance. I'm going to go ahead now to connect my waist measurements to my hip measurements right there. And the next thing we need to determine how back you want it to be. For mine, I'm making use of 8.5 inches. So now go ahead and just connect it like so to create the basque effect. And then you cut it out. The next thing will be to work on the back pattern so yeah for the back like we did for the front i also have my fabric folded in two yeah so go ahead and further fold it in two now to cut out the back pattern so yeah the next thing now will be to go ahead and mark off zipper allowance of one and a half inches rolling a straight line right there and then i'll be grabbing my front pattern and placing it exactly at that zipper allowance line right there and then i go ahead to cut this out with the zipper allowance portion being perfectly straight cut it out like so and this is what you should have after you're done the next thing will be to go ahead and separate the zipper allowance portion open yeah and that's it for the front and the back pattern the upper portion so i'm basically making use of safety pin to just secure these fabrics down just so it's easy for me to work on this is the front pattern right here go ahead and just sew it together just so it becomes one piece because remember it's folded the same thing for the back and then you go ahead and you just attach the front and the back pattern with the one and a half inches swing allowance we gave when we we're cutting it out just see it at that portion and the same thing for the other side go ahead and sew it up like so so after i was done sewing it up this is what i have i went ahead and i searched it just to have like a neat finish the next thing we to go ahead now and measure the amount of fabric I'll be needing to create the gathers effect. So yeah, to do that, I'll be folding this in two like so, just so it's easy for me to measure. I'm then going to go ahead and make use of my tape to measure around it like so. And remember, this is folded in two. So now it measures 20 because it's folded in two. Once it's opened up, it measures 40 inches in length. So yeah, to create the gathered effect, I'll be multiplying this 40 inches by three, but then this depends on the amount of fabric you have and how gathered you want this to be. So if you want yours to be more gathered than mine, then you, make, you multiply by 4 inches or 5, depending on how gathered you want it to be. So remember earlier we said the length of the skirt towards the shorter portion of the basque should be measuring 25 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and measure that and you can see that it's measuring 6 inches. So yeah, we initially got it out to be 5 inches. The 5 inches actually towards the allowance portion as you can see so if you want yours to be five inches meaning when cutting you make it a four 
So now I have six inches. Half inch is automatically for my joint allowance. Automatically, I have five and a half inches. Taking away five and a half inches from the original to its five inches I wanted, leaves me with 19 and a half. Adding half inch for joining gives 20, and one inch of hemming gives 21 inches. So I should have my fabric measuring 120 inches in width and 21 inches in length. So I have my fabric right here. So yeah, I don't have a 120 inches length fabric. So I had to like cut 60, 60 in two. But then just so my joining is not towards the middle, I separated one portion of the 60 in two just so I have 30 on both sides. That way the seam stays on the seam of the upper portion. I hope that makes sense. So I have my fabric right here, measuring 21 inches as you can see. I'm going to go ahead now to hem the bottom like so and see it all around to the end. While for the top, I'm going to go ahead and run gather stitches at the top portion. So after I was done with what I have, I've hemmed it and I've also run my gather stitches. And this is what it's looking like. The next thing we to attach this to the upper portion of the skirt. So yes, remember we've gathered this fabric. So yeah, when attaching it, you have to like check if it's enough and ensure that your gathers are evenly spaced all through the upper portion of the skirts. So to attach this, you'll be um, attaching it right sides facing each other, like so, and then you go ahead to sew it all around the upper that's upper portion. Sorry. And after I was done attaching it, this is what it's looking like. So yeah, the next thing we to go ahead and insert our zipper. To do that, I'll be folding the skirt in two, like so, and then I go ahead to mark off the one and a half inches of zipper allowance that we gave earlier mark it off like so and then just draw a straight line just so you know where to stitch on just draw a straight line all through to the ends of the skirt and so for mine i'm going to be sewing from that particular portion that i have my hand placed at so yeah sew from there all through to the end leaving the upper portion open to insert your zipper and yeah, for this, I'm making use of an invisible zipper. Go ahead and insert your zipper. And after I was done, this is what the final outcome was looking like. This looks so beautiful. The fact that a lot of people at church thought I was wearing a gown and not like a skirt and blouse was actually crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do not forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. Because our next video will be on the making of this mono strap top with puff sleeve and i'm sure you won't want to miss out on that so to make sure your notification bells are turned on thank you for watching once again bye bye and i'll see you in my next video